Hey guys, my name is Kelly. Today. Today I'm bringing you another face mask tutorial, and I never intended to make two different ones, but I have since making my other tutorial decided that I like this other version better. And while that other one was very quick and easy, and that's why I shared it with you, I actually think this one is even quicker and even easier to make. So I'm going to share it with you, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Stay safe, stay healthy, and thank you for watching. So to make this mask, you're going to need two pieces that are 6 inches by 11 inches long, and one piece that is 6 inches by 8 inches long. This piece is optional, but if you choose to do it, I recommend using flannel if you have it. A lot of studies have been done recently on the uh, filtration properties of different fabrics and they recommended using tightly woven cotton for the outside and a layer of cotton flannel for the inside, but like I said, that's optional. So you want to lay the two 6 by 11 pieces right sides together and put the 6 by 8 piece of flannel on top in the middle. And after you do that, you're going to take it over to your machine and you're going to sew both of the long edges at a half inch seam allowance. And once you do that, it will look like this. So you're going to take this and you're going to turn it right sides out. And then once you turn it right side out and press it, it's going to look like this with a nice pressed edge. And then you're going to want to take this edge over to your machine and top stitch both long edges so that it looks like this. After that, you're going to want to finish this short edge. So if you have a serger, I highly recommend serging both of those edges. And if you don't have a serger, you can just do this next step a little bit differently. And instead of just folding it over once, you would fold the edge in one quarter of an inch and then fold it over. Um, like I said, if you don't have a serger. But if you do, you can just serge the edge and fold it over about three quarters of an inch. And then all you do from there is stitch it down like that. So this is actually finished, and what you'll do from here is either make ties, like this one has, or you can also insert elastic. If you make ties, I recommend making them 36 inches long and just serging them if you can and tying the ends. Or if you don't have a serger, you can make strips of fabric and sew them closed and turn them right side out, which takes a little bit longer, but that's probably the best option if you don't have a serger or access to elastic or something like Half inch cotton twill tape would also work really well. So like I said, those are 36 inches long, tied on the ends. And then when you wear the mask, it just scrunches up on the sides like this. If you'd like to use elastic, you can take strips of elastic and just insert them through the sides like you would with the straps. And then you can make them the length you want, tie the end, and then just like pull the tie in so it's inside this area. And then you would have a loop here that you can put over your ears. Or you can also use really stretchy, uh, high-quality hair elastics, the ones that are a little thicker but really stretchy. And you can insert those before you fold this edge over and sew it down. So there are three different options for straps. Um, I do like the ties myself because having it tie above your ears and below your ears, to me, fits a little better and stays on better than the elastic. But I think that's more up to personal preference and what materials you have available. I hope this tutorial helped you. Have a great day, you guys.